Hey guys, welcome back to some more F1 2018 and part 14 of season 2 of our McLaren career mode. In today's episode we have the Italian Grand Prix, absolutely fantastic Grand Prix this one is. I really do enjoy it and uh, you know I think everybody does, uh, I, I think everybody enjoys a, a bit of Monza. Um, and the pace is very very good around here, unfortunately Fernando went out in Q2. Um, just obviously couldn't get a lap together. Uh, Ricardo also went out in Q2, so quite a few big names out already. Um, you know, it'll be interesting to see uh, what the the final order is. But I feel like we're we're in a good place to to get pole position, and uh, I'll take you around a lap of Monza right about now, uh, actually, and uh, we'll see what the pace is like here in Q3. So. You can see that the uh, the clouds have come over somewhat. It, it has been a, a beautiful clear day up to this point, but uh, track temperatures will have decreased just a little bit, and uh, perhaps that'll affect the pace. But coming into parabolic out to set up our lap, we go a little bit wide, but should be okay. It gives us a little bit more acceleration into... Uh, the long, long pit straight. Hulkenberg goes quickest for now on a 1.22. Uh, we were doing 1.21s in Q1 and Q2, so that's not going to be anywhere near good enough from Hulkenberg uh, for the moment. But a good start to the lap. Vettel goes quickest with a 1.21.8. Hamilton was quickest in Q2 with a 1.21.1. We come through this first sector and uh, we're quite a way off Vettel's time actually and a little bit wide there so this is not going to be the perfect lap as we come into the Lesmos are we going to upset the Tafosi around here see the sun has just poked its head out once again as we come down in towards Ascari and that was a quickest middle sector Perez has gone quickest on a 121.3, so Vettel really, really slow in the end as we throw it through Ascari. And now coming up to Parabolic again, Hulkenberg kindly gets out of the way as we break into Parabolic. Probably a little bit early, but we managed to get the foot down on the throttle and we're coming up to the line now. What's this lap going to be? It's a 120.9. We dip into the 1 minute 20s. What a brilliant lap that is. And that is Paul for the moment. Hamilton has only gone third. So Perez currently the man who is shocking everybody up in second place. And remember the Force Indians were really, really quick uh, around Belgium as well. And, and had a really good result last time out. So these tracks are brilliant for the Force Indians. Um, but we'll come around, drive, uh, drive into the pits now. And we'll come out for a second run later in the session. Well, have a look at this. Perez is in second. Ocon is in fourth. Absolutely unbelievable from the, the Force India boys. Uh, we're going to bolt on a new set of tyres. I think uh, we're going to start seeing people uh, very, very soon uh, go out and set their final lap. But we're going to go out now. We're going to try and improve on that time. It's going to be tough, but uh, you can see the Force Indias going out there. They're only four tenths off us. You feel like people like Hamilton have got a lot more to show as well. And Vettel, you know, he, he only did a 121.8. Um, so maybe Ferrari's straight line speed is, is not quite there. But we've got two minutes to go here. We'll get round and we'll take you on another lap of this wonderful Monza circuit. So here we come through Parabolica then for the penultimate time in this qualifying session. I think we're going to be the last man over the line. We're going to pick up a distant tour from Leclerc. Hopefully throughout this lap although we've locked up into the first turn we bundle over the curbs and that is pretty much the lap done we're already four tenths down on our best time we'll keep pushing though 
until the end of this lap. It'll be interesting to see what the likes of Perez and uh, Ocon can do on this second run. Or whether... Um, or whether it's just going to be the status quo. I mean, we've put in an absolutely god-awful lap here. This is not what we wanted at all. It'll be interesting to see if anybody else can improve because the sun has come out, so track temperatures will be rising. As we threw it through Ascari once again, but just not. We don't have the pace. Hamilton goes quickest with a 120.9, only a couple of hundredths of a second quicker. The doves fell! Goes quickest to 120.7. We're going to drop down the order here. Perez goes fourth. What about Leclerc? Where's he going to go? I'm not sure. Nice job. But uh, we finished third in the end. That's, I don't know, I guess a disappointment considering uh, how bad our last lap was. Vettel, Hamilton and the captain. It's time to leave for now, but we'll be back tomorrow when the Grand Prix itself gets underway. But look at that, Sebastian Vettel on pole. Last gasp from him. And Hamilton only three hundredths of a second ahead of us as well. We're going to start third. I think that's a, a decent starting position for us. And Perez in fourth once again. Force India looking the business at these type of circuits. Ocon in sixth there. Bottas only fifth. He'll be disappointed with that. Raikkonen only seventh as well. Verstappen eighth. Hulkenberg in ninth. And Leclerc in tenth. But only seven tenths uh, separating the top nine there. That is something to be celebrated. And, uh, well, I think everybody was giving each other a tour. We just messed up our last lap. And, and that's the end of it, really. There's not much more we can do about it. But hopefully we can get the victory in race day. Stay here in Italy once again. Monza, home to so many records. The smallest winning margin, for example. Do you remember in 1971, Peter Gethin beat Ronnie Peterson to the line by one hundredth of a second. There were 40 overtakes for the lead alone in 1965, and Kimi Raikkonen clocked a record top speed of 230 miles per hour here, just over a decade ago. So there's a lot to live up to then for all of our drivers today. With top speeds up to 215 miles per hour and an average lap speed of around 155 miles per hour, Monza's reputation as one of the fastest circuits in the sport is well earned. We have 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with the best overtaking chance coming into the heavy braking zone of the Turn 1 chicane. With me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Now, I want to ask you about Fernando Alonso. As ever, the threat of unreliability is never far away, and indeed, they'll be starting out of position today due to a power unit component change. So it's going to be a difficult task to move forward from there. Everyone has to deal with penalties or reliability issues from time to time throughout their career. You just have to suck up the pain and get on with the job at hand. Today isn't about performing a miracle to put the car back where it should be. It's about effective damage limitation. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have the captain, Perez, Valtteri Bottas, and Ocon, Raikkonen, Verstappen, Hulkenberg, and Charles Leclerc, Grosjean, Magnussen, Lance Stroll and Ricardo, Gasly, Sainz, Brendan Hartley and Marcus Ericsson, Sirotkin and Fernando Alonso starts from the back of the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. You can run side by side into the retifilio, but don't break too late on these cold tyres or you will hit someone. Well, here we are down on the track then, and uh, Fernando's done what I probably would have done in his situation. He has um, started at the back of the grid, took a new engine, presumably. So, um, 
you know, he's got an extra one for, for the rest of the season. He was starting in 13th anyway, and, uh, you know, from that position, he's not going to win the Grand Prix, but equally, he should get uh, points, and I feel like he will do from the back of the grid with the straight line speed of this car with Fernando's race craft. I, I, I would be shocked if he didn't end up in the points, but... Um, Oh, well, goodness me. <laughs> I'm glad that... Um... <laughs> I'm very glad that there's no damage on the formation lap. Um, but we've... Well, apparently too slow we are this time. So uh, we are going to uh, skip the formation lap. Here and there, uh, we'll have some adjusting to do on the starting grid. But we should be okay. So here we go, ready for the lights, lights out, away we go, goodness me, that was quick release of the lights and we're caught out a little bit as Perez goes up our inside and we are absolutely swamped once again here at the start, oh my goodness me, we T-bone uh, Perez into the first corner, there's yellow flags as well, not entirely sure what that was all about, whether it was just for us, but we're back up into fourth position because we were very aggressive, to say the least, on that first corner. Amazingly, though, we didn't get any damage. But Hamilton and Vettel going side by side like they did in the real life race. But remember, Vettel was tipped to the back of the field when Hamilton went on to win this race in real life in 2018. And Hamilton... Has took the lead it looks like but Vettel is still on his inside as they go towards Ascari and he's gonna have a look down the inside now Vettel and Hamilton side by side Hamilton goes wide and Perez is here as well way right behind Perez Vettel has got himself into the lead Ocon up to fifth as well this is absolutely amazing at the start of this Italian Grand Prix but Vettel leads the way Hamilton is in second Perez is in third we're in fourth currently just uh, waiting for our chance we're gonna move the energy deployment down a little bit because we were derating but it's line of stern here uh, at the start of this Grand Prix we're having a little look at Perez there it was more just because we had too much speed going into the turn that we had a little look but again no damage so a little bit lucky there to say the least but Vettel leading the way Hamilton in second Perez in third and the front two are pulling away just a little bit from us at the moment but uh, we're managing to just about keep it on the track and with Ocon and Raikkonen fighting uh, down below and we've broke their slipstream you feel like this is going to be the top four come the end of the race. The question is, can we catch up to the front two? Well, this could be our chance now. We're right on the gearbox of Sergio Perez. And here we go. We're going to have a look. And I think we're fine. That's a good overtake. And now... We're ahead of Perez, which is what we needed to do, to be fair. We needed to be ahead of Sergio. Although, here he comes. He's going to come back at us here, if we're not careful. And look at this, side by side now. He's obviously got his energy deployment up. And we're just going to let him have it for now. I tried a little undercut on him there, but just didn't have the momentum to come through but uh, this is all costing us valuable time on the two leaders and it's frustrating because we do have the pace but here comes DRS time I'm going to use this opportunity to close in oh he's derating just a little bit so we're going to just be careful but here we are now with a chance, we've got the overtake button on. And we go to the inside. We're going to have a look. Into Parabolica now. Down the inside and we're through. So back up into third position we go. I 
think he's going to have DRS, so he's probably going to come from a long way back as Hamilton takes the lead of the Grand Prix. Hamilton is in the lead now. As Perez closes in on us, we need to make sure we nail these couple of corners. Get a good acceleration out of that first chicane, but Perez is right on our gearbox. He's having a look at us. We're going to hold the inside line this time. As we come into the end of the first sector, and Perez is behind. Oof. There's a bit of a corner cut, admittedly, there. I felt it was either that or we spin, so I'm fine with that. We got our warning. We'll only get one more of those before we get a penalty, but that is terrible, and Perez flies through. Goodness me, this... Well, look at this. We go down the inside of Perez. I don't know what he was doing there. But whatever he was doing, he'll be disappointed. And here he comes once again. We've got the DRS open. This is just a ding-dong battle with Perez. He's got incredible straight line speed. And look at the front two. They're side by side. Hamilton and Vettel. Imagine if this happened in real life. Side by side. Multiple laps. It would be absolutely amazing to see. Now then. Can we make this corner this time? Yes we can. Hamilton back into the lead of the Grand Prix, apparently, although according to our timing screens up, up in the top left, he is behind Vettel at the moment. Perez is keeping us under pressure, though. My goodness. He's got his DRS wide open. He's going to be having a look into Ascari here. Perez goes past us once again. But we have a look down the inside. And what a move we've pulled off there through Ascari. And we are going to be pitting on this lap. So we'll stay with the action as Hamilton is catching up to Vettel. Lap 5 of this Grand Prix already. It is going by like a flash. It is so, so fun to drive on race day. And here we go into the pits. Hamilton is in as well. We nail the pit entry. Force India is in as well of Perez. Hamilton's held up. Hamilton's been released. And we're away. We're away in 2.1 seconds. It looks like we have made up a little bit of time to Hamilton. And most importantly, we're out ahead of Sergio Perez as we lock up into the first turn. Cool tyres, of course. And now we've got a use this advantage that we've got from the pit stop we are ahead of Perez We're, we've broke the slipstream and DRS uh, gap which is is all good and that hopefully means that he won't be bothering us for the rest of this race Well, Hamilton having a look at Sorokin up ahead. And goes wildly to the outside. Sorokin still there though. Well, Sorokin was a bit dangerous there. We nearly went straight into the back of him. He's obviously just struggling a little bit. So now. Fernando Alonso into the pits. We got better acceleration than Hamilton here. Is Hartley going to go into the pits? He does. He peels off as we're now overtaking Hamilton. It should be easy enough with the DRS open. And as you can see, it was. Goodness me. Did we need to pull the power down there? And Hamilton's going to have a go at us. In a turn four. Verstappen has just completed a pass for the lead. Surely Verstappen isn't going to win this Grand Prix. Surely not. Pretty sure he's starting on the soft tyres, so maybe he hasn't pitted yet. That would make sense. But uh, Vettel did make a lot of time in the pit stop. He went for the overcut, of course. 
uh, on myself and Lewis. And he's the one currently leading the way. Well, maybe that's what's got Verstappen into the lead. He was uh, out there much longer than the rest of us. Maybe he is going to win this Grand Prix, but we're going to try our best to catch up to Vettel here. And make a pass for what I think would be the provisional lead of the Grand Prix, but we will see. No, Verstappen is in, so Vettel takes the lead once again of this Italian Grand Prix. We're in second. Lewis Hamilton is currently in third, 1.3 seconds behind ourselves. So let's see what we can do in these last four or five laps. Oh my goodness, Hamilton is out of the race. I think he's slowing right down. Hamilton is out. We're leading our teammate by well, seconds. what a big moment in this World Championship fight. Hamilton, of course, is leading the way. He's 19 points ahead of ourselves. At the moment, we will go within one point of him after being over 60 points behind a couple of races ago. How crazy is that? And I tell you what, we are catching up to Vettel here. Well, you join me as we come through Parabolica for the penultimate time. We're going on to the final lap of this Grand Prix. We're 1.1 seconds of Sebastian Vettel. We have whittled down this gap over the last few laps. We have been absolutely mighty. In the second and third sector, we struggle out of that first chicane, but we're okay now. And you can see we're getting an ever so slightly distant tour here we're just able to break much later than Vettel at the moment the pole sitter the fan favorite certainly around here anyway and you can see we've got the DRS this is going to allow us to close in on him as we come towards Ascari for the final time we are setting purple sectors here. And look at this. We are right behind Vettel now. We've got overtake mode on. This is going to be so close. We have a look. And we're going to go for it down the inside of Parabolica. Oh, we go a little bit wide but managed to keep two of the tyres on. But here comes Vettel. Vettel having a look now. Vettel wins. Oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> what a Grand Prix. Goodness me, how did Vettel beat us on the line there? He must have, he, well, he did just take a better, um, a better line through there. So here they come now, out onto the podium. Wherever you go, anywhere in the world, the prancing horse flags are dominant in the grandstands, and they're out in force again today. It's Ferrari on the top step once more. There you have it. What an important seven points that could be. Certainly for us, it's the difference now. We've been one point behind in the championship and leading it by six. But I'm sure there'll be plenty more opportunities as the season goes on. But what a crazy Grand Prix that was. This result affects the Drivers' Championship. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader and their advantage at the top has been reduced. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I'll probably go for Pierre Gasly. The team did a good job with the strategy to put him in amongst the pack, but it's the driver's job to capitalise on those opportunities, and he did so with a lot of skill. 
And here's how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. We saw a dip in form from the Championship leaders today. Their lead has taken a significant blow. It was also a strong Grand Prix from Haas F1 this weekend. Fantastic work from the American team to move themselves further up the table. Well, what a weekend that has been. Please join us next time for another thrilling instalment of this Formula One season. Well, what an amazing Grand Prix. We lose out by 0.033 seconds. We set the fastest lap of the race at the end there as well. That is just absolutely crazy. We went a little bit wide out of par Parabolic and Vettel just used the slipstream, the extra momentum that he carried through Parabolic and, and beat us to the line. And that is crazy. Perez finishes a wonderful third for Force India. Bottas fourth, Reignan fifth, uh, Bot uh, Ocon sixth, Verstappen in seventh, Gasly and Grosjean and Leclerc round out the top 10 fernando only finishes 17th he couldn't make his way through the field the way that we thought he might be able to but look at the championship four points separate the top four as we go into the final stretch of the season i mean ricardo alonso and reikening you'd have to say are probably out of the championship at this point but a couple of wins for any of them and it gets them right back into it um you know, Hamilton has been incredibly unlucky over the last few Grand Prix. We are 51 points behind Mercedes in the Constructors. But that is where we're going to leave it for this episode. If you have enjoyed that, and if you haven't, I don't know what you would enjoy. But uh, that was absolutely fantastic. And, uh, yeah, leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel for regular F1 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.